What's up you guys, I'm Slash Demon of the Sword, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use c to open up a .exe file. Now, I'm going to assume you guys already know how to start a new project in Visual c -sharp. So, let's get into this. So you're going to have to start a new project, and when you start a new project, you'll be brought to this window here. Before you do anything else, double click Form 1. When the, when the code for Form 1 opens up, go all the way up to where it says Usings, and insert the following statement, using system using system dot diagnostics this is going to allow us to use the line of code we're going to need now go over to your tools and we're going to insert a button name this button whatever you like i'm going whoops i'm going to call this minecraft cuz i'm going to be have i'm going to have this button open up minecraft for me so once you've named the button double click the button and you'll be brought to the button's code so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to type in process dot start and then print um, parentheses and then a semicolon now inside the parentheses we're gonna need to put the add sign followed by two quotation marks now inside the quotation marks is where the file directory is going to be I have already copied and pasted mine so basically how it's gonna look like I'm telling the computer to go to my C drive inside my C drive is a file is a folder called users inside there is called a folder slash and inside there is my desktop and then on my desktop there's a file called Minecraft. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The process that start is telling C Sharp to run the .exe file at the end of this extension. So just go ahead and click start. Run the project. Click on the button. And if everything goes smoothly, Minecraft starts to open up. Now something I noticed that when you go to create the um, lines of code to the file directory, you won't actually get the name of the software. So when I copied and pasted this, I got users slash desktop. I had to add in Minecraft itself because it brings you to the location of the file, not the file application itself. You're going to have to add in that part yourself. Now, easy way to do this is if you, get a, if you go to the file directory in your Windows Explorer, click up here at the top, and it will turn this into a copyable code or a copy a words you can copy just copy that and paste it inside the prep in the side the quotation marks and there you have it you can do this for multiple buttons and have as many as you want I myself don't actually know how to have it so you can have a user enter in the file path and then have the button go and use that file path but I know how to do it like this and you can use it for as many buttons as you want I'm slash demon of the sword and thank you for watching this video